Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Wednesday morning for about seven minutes. You know, I, I used to get a lot of grief about it. So I've had this, I've done this podcast for years. This is 17, wow, nine years. Uh, I've been doing this show off and on. Started with audio only and uh, then YouTube and now Facebook. And uh, <laughs> I call it seven minutes because I want it to be short, but it almost never winds up being seven minutes. So every once in a while you'll hear me call it seven-ish minutes in the morning, but that's nah, just so you know the backstory. Thank you for being here. Uh, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, I would appreciate it. If you'd leave me a note down in the comments, just say hi and let me know that you stopped by. Good morning, Jeremy. Thank you for being here. It is Wednesday. It is the first, well, maybe not. Some people may have had to work Monday. It's um, it's the beginning of a, a new Monday in the week. If you had to work Monday, oh man, this is your second Monday. That really sucks. Sorry about that. And if you hadn't thought about it that way, sorry to bring it up. Ugh. Anyway, it's a great start to a great day. The birds are singing. It's very pleasant outside. And uh, we are on topic number three of how to create results. This week we've been talking about how to, how to get the results you want, how to begin creating results in your life. The uh, first step we talked about on Monday was to own it, to know exactly what it is you're trying to get. Otherwise, you just kind of, uh, whatever comes along, and that's pretty much a guaranteed way to not get what you want. And I thought about this analogy later. You know, a baseball player, a batter, can go up to bat, and in a lifetime of playing baseball, may never get hit by the ball. So if he never swings... He, well, I guess he could get walked. If you don't get hit by the pitch, you don't get walked, you'll never get on base. You just stand there, right? You got to take a swing. You got to be trying to hit the ball in order to do so. Step number two, and so if that step number one is to own it, step number two is to plan it. You have to know what those interim steps are that, that mark success. If you don't know what those milestones are, then how will you know if you get there? Um, and, and, you know, we pointed out, we talked a little bit about how uh, you can have a plan, but plans change, but the planning process is still important, so you think about what those steps are that might get you there. All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, step number three, which is make room for it. Make room for it, what does that mean? Of all of the things, this one might be the most difficult. Make room for it means if you want to do something new, if you want to get a new result. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to fall back on my old saying here for a second. If you want, uh, if you want different results, then you have to do things differently, right? Which means if you want to create this new result in your life, if you want to add something to it, then you got to get rid of something. Now. The engineer in us says, uh, well, if I want to put a rock this size in, then I need to take a rock this size out. But the reality is, if you want to put a rock this big in, you need to take a huge rock out so that you have enough room for mistakes. See, so we're all going to make mistakes uh, in our implementa implementation and our execution. We'll have an eye, just like we were talking about planning it. Right? We might think that we're going to take this highway to go across country, get halfway there, and the bridge is out, or they're doing road construction, or there's an accident. Well, do we just turn around and go home? No, we reroute around that. So we have to have the room to maneuver to make those adaptations and changes. So you have to take something out. You know, uh, Vilfredo Pareto came up with the 80-20 rule. I bet he never thought. He was talking about peas in his garden when uh, when he came up with this, this principle. I bet he never thought it would be applied to so much. But you get 80% of the results from 20% of the effort. right? So find that 20% that's going to create 80% and then make room for that. that, that it's really that simple. So now, here's why I say this might be the hardest part. What are you going to get rid of? 
What are you going to stop doing to make room for something new? We'll stop watching TV. Stop um, playing golf. I don't know. It's up to you, but you have to decide, right? What's going to produce the result that you're looking for, and what is just taking time away from that result? <clears throat> if you look at if you look at your golf game and you think, yeah, I can't give up my golf game. Hang on, emergency power supply needed here. That thing sucked down power like you wouldn't believe this morning. I don't know what's up with that. Come on. There we go. Time. All right. Sorry about that. All right, so back to the idea here. If you look at your golf game and think, wow, I can't give that up in order to increase my business in order to get this new job in order to um, be, you know whatever the result is you're trying to create <clears throat> then the why behind that outcome that you're trying to create is not strong enough back in step one where we said you have to know exactly what it is you want to create and why that why is not enough to overcome playing golf it's certainly not going to overcome those days when you get up and think, oh, I really don't want to do this today. Right? So think about, you have to know what it is you're trying to create. Think about what it is you're willing to give up for that. Now, uh, I, I, you, I almost always hesitate when I get to this part because this is, a, a, this is one of those mindset things that gives some people trouble. You know, remember I said you had to create a great big hole to give yourself room to maneuver. It is possible that once you get this new thing implemented, this new result rolling, that you can go back to playing golf. You can go back to watching TV. Because you don't need all that space. It'll, you know, it'll contract. But it's dangerous. I, I, I share that with you with a, a huge word of caution because... You can't go back too soon. And there's a real risk that if you do, you slip back into the same patterns that have you where you are today. Right? Two plus two is always going to equal four. If you keep doing the same thing, you're always going to get the same result. It's just the way it works. So you can use that as, okay, I'll, I'll give this up for a little while. I can come back to it. Right? Just... Don't fall into that trap of, of rewarding one of those interim milestones. You get halfway there and say, well, I'm halfway there. I can, I can go back to playing golf or watching TV or whatever it is. Right? All right, so that's step number three. You've got to make room for it. Find out what you're going to give up in order to make room for creating that result. We are over halfway there to helping you create the results that you're looking for. I hope that this is helping you. If it is, please leave me a comment. Let me know. If you have a specific question, you'd rather talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, that's fine. Shoot me a message here at the Unashamed Nonconformist or an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. I'll be happy to talk with you about your specific circumstances, help you implement some of these principles we're talking about here on the show. It is Wednesday, so coffee shop show this morning, Sans Eric. He is uh, off celebrating his birthday this week, and so... I'm not sure who's going to be on the show with me this morning. You need to tune in to find out. That's at 9 o'clock Central Time uh, right here. You can get that on the Unashamed Nonconformist page. All right, that's it for today. Joe, thank you for stopping by. Jeremy, appreciate you being here also. Remember, if you're watching on the replay, you can leave a comment. Let me know you were here also. I will see you from the coffee shop in a couple of hours and back here in the morning with more 7 Minutes in the Morning. You have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.